100 gems where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain. Got the baby in the mix with people. Right about now, the time is 11 30, and you know it's all about chat trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. So let's dive right into it. We're going to talk about keeping up with the Kardashians because um, it's finally coming to an end, and they recently previewed their 20th and final season, which will be aired March 18th. And Kim Kardashian's divorce from Kanye West might not be the sole focus but it's definitely gonna get some airtime and the show was filming for much of the past year during um kim and yeah during that breakdown due to her and kanye's marital issues especially during his 2020 run for president and his bipolar episodes so honestly i really want to see what's going on so i'm getting ready for march 18th i know a lot of my ladies who tune in to um, keep it up with the kardashians yeah i just want to just want to see a little bit you know sometimes they live in that lavish lifestyle you want to see what kind of marital issues they'll have besides um because money can't really be the topic but with sharing with them sharing i think of what it's four kids now I don't even want to know how much of uh, what's going to be spent, what's going to be split. Because between Kim and Kanye, that's some serious money. But since we're talking about serious money, going to talk about Mr. Jay-Z. Because Forbes made the revelation that Jay-Z is now worth $1.4 And some of his wealth came from his deal with LVMH, in which he sold half of his champagne for about $640 million. But, you know, he did have some more wealth coming in from another deal that he did make. Because I got to give a big congratulations going out to him right now because he is indeed a music mogul and a businessman he recently sold a majority of his music streaming company title for 297 million which allowed all 16 co-owners of title to receive 8.9 million I'm just like can I get some friends like this please some friends to talk us some money in 2021 oh gosh this is definitely phenomenal but some of the co-owners are Beyonce and you know his wife Kanye West Rihanna Nicki Minaj and a few other legends who are already rich so can you imagine you already got some money we're going through a pandemic and Jay-Z just come and drop 8.9 million on you just because you know you're a co-owner of his company but it's like the rich always help the rich become richer while the poor continuously just take from one another why can't we just decide to come together and find a way to get this money I don't know what's going on, but man, congratulations to Jay-Z and all the co-owners of Tidal right there. But I'm sure we all will love a lifestyle that includes an abundance of money, trips, designer, shoes, clothes, you name it. But be very careful because a lot of people you see living this lavish lifestyle, um, they, ain't really working, they ain't really working hard. God, really scamming today. A lot of um, scamming is definitely very popular. And, you know, talking about dancehall producer Poppy Don Music, he has worked with a slew of dancehall talents like um, TJ, Chronic Law, and Chanel Moi. Now, he just was recently arrested for allegedly scamming 18 senior citizens out of $300,000. Now, maybe if he'd have just become a co-owner of Tidal, he would get an $8.9 million and be straight. But, yeah, so he was scamming 18 senior citizens. I'm like, the older people? Come on, man. The older people, don't do that to them, man. But he was charged with bank fraud, grand theft of a firearm, and criminal use of personal identification. Now, that is just ridiculous. I'm just saying, man, don't do the old people like that. $300,000, I don't know what he had set up to do with it. But yeah, this year was definitely, well, from last year during COVID-19, definitely became a tough one for all producers, all artists, anyone in the media game, anyone in the entertainment business. So I guess everyone's just trying to find a way to make that extra cash. But yeah, that's it for Chat Shop, letting you know what's going on right there with Mr. Jay-Z and how he's get, making all this money right now, all right? So just going to jump back into the mix. Going to throw it back to some Trey songs right here with Heart Attack as we are getting ready for E to the Beat at 12.